A search for a missing woman led to a body being fished out of a canal and a father spending three years in jail. Two DNA tests now suggest the body was never hers. Nearly a month after Sheetal's body first went missing in January 2020, a highly decomposed body was fished out of a canal in UP. It was identified as Sheetal's by her husband, Ankit Body. Her father was arrested based on the husband's complaint and the father's called detail records. But now there's been a twist in the case. The results of two DNA tests have established that the body found in that canal was not Sheetal's. The Delhi police are now grappling with a curious situation. They have no victim and no accused. Ankit filed a police complaint on February 6, 2020, stating that his wife was missing since January 18, 2020. The FIR in the case states that Sheetal's parents didn't allow Ankit to meet her and that they intentionally kidnapped her and hid her somewhere. Ankit also alleged that Sheetal's parents were against their marriage, as they belonged to the same Gotra. On January 30, 2020, a decomposed female body in, quote, blue lowers and light blue jersey with wire-like dental braces was fished out of a canal in UP. A post-mortem report dated February 2, 2020, estimated the time of death to be around January 29, 2020. Ankit was shown a photograph of the highly decomposed body and a bundle of clothes for identification. As per the police bulletin, the body was missing skin due to extreme bloating in the water. But Ankit still confirmed the body was Sheetal's, claiming he had gifted the clothes in the bundle to his wife, who also had dental braces. Within the next two days, Sheetal's father and several of her relatives were arrested for disappearance of evidence, criminal conspiracy, and murder. Sheetal's father would remain in jail for over three years. Per procedure, DNA samples from the body and Sheetal's father were sent to the Forensic Science Lab in Delhi. A 2022 report from the lab stated that the two DNA samples did not match. The police then collected a sample of the mother's DNA to test it against a sample from the body. This time too, the samples did not match. So the body was not Sheetal's, but where was she? Court documents reveal that two bodies were recovered on the same day from the same canal. While both bodies underwent autopsies, samples were preserved from only one body, and Delhi police say both the bodies have now been cremated. Sheetal's father's lawyer alleged that the Delhi police, quote, botched the murder investigation and made arrests, quote, solely on the husband's statement without verifying facts. Delhi investigators are now accusing their UP counterparts of negligence. When contacted, the UP police said the case was very old and they do not have the details. Court documents detail Sheetal and Ankit's relationship, which started after they met through a common friend in 2016. Though Sheetal and Ankit were supposed to find a match for their common friend, they fell in love instead. In 2019, the couple decided to tell their parents about the relationship. According to the police, Sheetal's parents allegedly beat her up and didn't allow her to leave the house. On October 23, 2019, the couple secretly tied the knot at a temple in Old Delhi. According to Ankit's police complaint, in January 2020, Sheetal allegedly told him that she would inform her parents about their marriage. As per the police, the couple last spoke on the phone on January 18, 2020. Ankit filed a missing persons complaint on February 6, 2020, and an FIR in the case was lodged 10 days later. As per the charge sheet, Delhi police relied heavily on the father's call detail records and his location near the canal around the time of Sheetal's murder. Sources said the police will reopen the case since the father is no longer a prime suspect. Investigators told the Indian Express that Ankit will be called for questioning since her parents alleged that they never saw Sheetal after her wedding. Investigators will also look into the two complaints filed by Ankit in the case. In his February 6, 2020 complaint, he stated that he stayed with Sheetal for a few days after their secret wedding, before she went home to convince her parents. He also alleged that her phone was constantly switched off and that his in-laws didn't let him meet her. In a complaint dated February 16, 2020, Ankit alleged that after Sheetal went back home to convince her parents, they spoke on the phone regularly till January 18, 2020. However, Sheetal's mother told the Indian Express that Ankit's allegations are false. She said in part, quote, we were opposed to the marriage, but we would never kill our only child. 
How could we kill her when we didn't even see her? We've suffered enough. My husband was in jail for more than three years. We lost a daughter and don't know where she is. Ankit has not responded to calls from the Indian Express seeking a comment on the developments. He was not available at his residence either.